Hello everyone, welcome to Elliot with DashForecast.com YouTube channel. Uh, today is October the 1st, the fourth quarter, last quarter of the year. And the chart of the day for today is the USD Yen. Here is a 60 minutes time frame. We could see we ended W here and the X rally ended here at 146.48. Now this one, by the way, is, um, is a false spike. It's just the data is corrupted in the e-signal uh, and it, it, there shouldn't be any spike here uh, in your platform I think right so we finished the X rally here and then now starting to turn lower right and now is looking for the rally to fail below this previous peak for now so the bias is lower uh, against 146.48 however the arrow is only turning down not red and the reason is simple because we have not broken below that previous low again, which is the W, which means unless we break below here, there is always an, an alternate uh, in which we can see a double and rally again. But a couple of things we can observe though, I think is one of them being that this rally here, it looks, um, it looks corrective, right? It doesn't look like an impulse. It looks overlapping and uh, that definitely doesn't look like an impulse, a traditional five ways impulse. So I think all in all, based on this structure here, we can conclude, we can conclude that um, it is not really bullish. Because if it is bullish, it would have been more impulsive than that, the structure, right? And uh, th so that's one thing that we can observe. Now, secondly, um, if we measure in the extension, so based on this structure here, we are labeling this as a WXY structure here, right? So if you measure WXY, right, the extension, so W, X, Y, you notice here, it hit the 100% perfectly. It hit the 100% perfectly. Let me erase this one, this is not confusing. It hit the hundred percent perfectly, slightly above the hundred percent, but very, very within the hundred percent, hundred sixty-one point eight percent, and then sell off quite violent after that. So again, not only that the structure is corrective, but it did react from the area where we expect it to react, which is the hundred percent extension area, and sell off. So I think based on the structure here and also on the reaction, uh, we can conclude that I think more likely than not, it will eventually extend lower. Now, we still need to break below W, like I said, to confirm, but I think the structure here and the reaction from the 100% suggests, I think it has more downside. Now, of course, we can do an alternate in which we can do a bigger rally uh, and do a double from here and so on. Yes, it's possible for sure, but it still doesn't change the fact that this is corrective and it reacts from the 100%. So even if it does a double like this, then uh, I think most likely you're going to see sellers again at the next 100% of this one, two, three, the next 100% see sellers again, and then eventually going to go down. So again, I think uh, overall, we should be looking for eventual breakdown below here. And the only question is whether the correction is really over or not, or whether we're going to be doing a bigger rally, bigger correction, right? But for now, um, we are calling it lower against 146.48, uh, but the arrow is still turning down. And, I, and again, uh, we do favor in the downside even before uh, this latest move here. If you look at the larger time frame, right we've been telling our members all this time that this has a lower low sequence from the peak in july we do have a lower low bearish sequence here this is what we call bearish sequence lower low sequence and and if you just simply measure the extension which is the potential target lower you notice that uh, the hundred percent is still way 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 lower and the intermediate target usually 61.8 is also still not yet reached so based on that alone we can say well it's kind of looking for for the downside because of that lower low sequence right and again if I try to 
copy what we got in the in the one hour so we got this w which is this one so this move down is labeled as a w and then this is labeled as an x which is what we saw in the one hour time frame here so again the only question is because we've been telling basically we've established this structure looks corrective and the reaction lower is from the 100 percent so again um and this move down kind of looks impulsive right so overall again as long as we stay below here i think we have a chance to extend lower again uh, and the rally to fail here fall for the downside but again i think even if we want to uh trade so to speak the extreme area is really this area here which is a three swing measure from the low here one two three which is what we saw earlier the wxy and reaching the hundred percent and boom it sells off right from this area and we did actually sell this in our live trading room from this area so we sold it here the, the, the key is really selling at the extreme right um, then the position is already safe uh, we could already take partial profit we could move stop loss to our entry level so just in the case that it does a bigger rally again for example then there is nothing you know nothing harmful meaning we would have been out of the trade without any losses yeah, because it's just gonna uh, hit our entry level again and we get out and then we we evaluate again to see if it does a bigger rally you should find another sellers again at the next hundred percent but just if we do another like higher though then that will imply this cycle is over but then uh it's still can because this structure is still in corrective then that means uh we are actually correcting this entire decline if if we do get another like up from here and um so this is going to be let's say a big w here a big w here which is a higher degree than this and then uh or, or let me do it i think a higher degree is going to be a primary degree so i'm going to use a primary degree here which is little like this right and then and then it will then um do it this way and find another 100% of the WXY in this bigger WXY connector here and then finish here before it starts turning lower so it's still suggesting for the downside is a possibility even if it does extend higher but that's not really what we are looking at we are looking at the rally here to fail below 146.48 because it does kind of look kind of uh, a bit impulsive here and then turn slower again after it. Break below W though is still required and will confirm that the correction is indeed over and then the next leg lower has already started, okay? So that's what we are looking at right now. If you want to get more updates on Forex commodities indices, feel free to check our service. Uh, we have 14 days trial and currently we are running uh, limited time, you know, like uh, uh, trial for only 99 cents. For you guys to try so if you've never been a member before or if you've never taken trial or member before you can use this opportunity uh, to check our service uh, for 99 cent you get a equ equivalent on the gold plan as well as uh, uh, live trading room as well which gives you um, signals all right so see you guys again next time have a nice day everyone